SC Multiscreen works wonderfully for all clips that fall within the basic size of your project. However, since SC Multiscreen was created, some users have been trying to use standard definition clips with the effect. Now, you would think that Multiscreen was the perfect venue for using smaller resolution video files within the context of an HD or larger project. As it happens, this is not true at first drop. Without question, Final Cut does an outstanding job of upscaling SD video in an HD project. I have added this 720x480 clip to a 1080 project. It looks pretty good. I've added a little sharpening and color correction. I'll flip the effect setting so you can see. I'm not really doing anything that controls the overall appearance of the clip. Now watch what happens when SC Multiscreen is added. Even with the viewer set to better quality, the clip softens quite noticeably. The only explanation I can come up with is that the upscaling algorithm is turned off. And what you're seeing is what the clip should look like full screen, even though it is scaled down in the viewer. In order to preserve the upscaling quality, it turns out that the clip must be converted to a compound clip, and, then, have SC Multiscreen added to the compound clip. Let's take a look. Moving the clip into the next position for comparison we can see an immediate improvement. It looks just like you would expect. Another issue with SD clips in an HD project is that when you try to offset the position on the screen, the clip is cropped to the edge of its SD aspect. Compare as I move each clip by the OSC dimensions control. The plain SD clip is cropped at 4, 3. The compound clip version can be moved to the edge of the screen normally. So, there are two reasons why SD clips need to be made into a compound clip when using them with SC multi-screen. I hope this helps.